So one of the things that is uh, the most triggering for the left is the potentiality of the Asian pussy dominating the entire planet. And the leftists, they hate it that white men have a decent option in the Asian female. Because the entirety of the female abuse of white males in our society is made possible due to the rarity of the European pussy. The rarity of the European pussy allows leverage to women, which allows them to make sure that the white man has to injure them if they want to reproduce. Of course, there is a hole in the armor. There is a there is something that the left hasn't thought about. There is something that the feminist uh, fear every night when they go to bed: the potentiality of a based, super sexy Asian woman that is just available for absolute reproduction while chopping coconuts. She doesn't give a shit. And this guy on Twitter, of course, uh, as a, uh, this guy or this girl, I don't know, Eric Rivera, uh, this person takes issue with the pot potentiality that, uh, that white men could be choosing within this much larger pool. Because once the white man is liberated, liberated through trusting into the Asian pussy, the white man can make his own path for himself and he can rebuild civilization. It will be not a white civilization, it will be a half-white, half-Asian civilization. But then uh, the, the iron fist of the European female onto us will be no more. So this guy, of course, is finding it creepy that you have here a very bizarre white man who happens to have scored a beautiful Asian female, and on top of it, she, uh, she just chops coconuts. All that noise, what are you doing? Huh? What is that? Sorry, I'm opening the coconut. Uh huh, that, that doesn't look You know the fluid that you eat, I mean, you drink? Yeah, you're gonna drink coconut fluids. Yeah. Okay. I've, I've been wanting this for three years now. Well, I'm just gonna stand all the way over here while you're working on that. <laughs> it doesn't work. Did you get it? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> look! <laughs> Did you strike gold yet? <laughs> <laughs> you just need to. See how she's not demeaning him? See how she's not saying that he's not satisfactory as a male, that uh, he should go to work, that he should stop gaming on his PC. See how she's just opening a fucking coconut? That is the fucking perfect dream female. That is what Europeans need. To do that, like, you know, make a hole and then you can zip it. And then you can what? Did you say zip or sip? Sip it. Sip it. <laughs> See how light the conversation is. See how she's not asking how much this guy is making. See how she's not wondering whether this guy will be fit to interact with her social circles of shit. Okay, there you go, baby. Wow, look at that. See, and then you're gonna make a hole. Oh, jeez. And then you're gonna drink it. Okay, me first, and then you're gonna. It's gonna be you after. Me. <laughs> Of course, I've had again and again these Asian girlfriends, as well as uh, white females who were imitating Asian females and that they were also breaking coconuts and they were very much into Asian food. It's always a pleasure when you date the Asian female. She's just fun and she plays with food and she likes to innovate and she likes to taste things and have you taste things. Isn't that what nature intended for? men and women to be together just having fun mm. she, just, she just sticks her whole damn mouth on it <laughs> mm. Mm. me too oh boy now look at the face of this guy i mean if he was scoring like this in the squirrel world i wouldn't be surprised but this guy is scoring in the asian dating scene and look at his teeth holy shit that, that's teeth for two people right there. That, that's twice the teeth you need. Okay. So try it, try it, come on. Like this? Yeah. Delicious. It's so fresh. The guy is done in terms of air. Look at this. The guy is done. The guy is... This, this on the North American market, I'm sorry, he's not getting a female at all. 
Look at this. Half hair, twice the teeth. <laughs> How <Yeah>. is it? <laughs> Yummy. <not> sweet. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, all this to say, the Asian females are coming, and you should definitely consider uh, the possibility. They might be more loyal. Of course, there are problems. It's not the dream always. Uh, but given the state of the uh, European female, which is just, uh, she's not going to stay. So she's going to make a couple of babies and then leave. You might as well consider other options. Just saying. All right. So yesterday I published a clip and it was about the Asian female. And I'm being very comedic in that clip, uh, but I wanted to come back on the subject seriously because despite the comedy, uh, I believe what I have stated in this clip. It's like, it's not a cop out where I'm saying, oh, I was just joking. No, no, I think it is fine for white men to consider Asian females as an option, especially in the current dating market, because you're going to be, if you date within the white race, the, the current state of dating within the white race is that the top eight, nine, 10 out of 10 females are absolutely unavailable. You, you will have to score very low. Even if you're a decent man, you will have to fight for lower than what your quality is. Simply because on the side of female decision making, there is a, there is kind of a delusion where they overestimate their value in terms of who they pick on the male side. Um, and, and, and other problems. Uh, polygamy results in this. You know, polygamy, the, the fact that divorces are happening at such a high rate, what it causes is that it gives an opportunity for females to rotate to another man while men are being pushed toward the incel lifestyle. Uh, so the, the more rotation you allow, the further you get away from a 50-50, everyone is married type of society. And it's mostly females using that opportunity uh, because they cause the divorce first. And because a female, as long as she's not 35, she's still a potential carrier of babies. Whereas what the males, what happens on the male side is that the males have a much longer reproductive career, which also means that a 19-year-old male is in competition with a 55-year-old male for the same woman, for the same woman. So the result of this, these circumstances in Western civilization, and add to this the fact that females have been propagandized into thinking that, oh, they can have a family starting at 33 years old, you know, <laughs> so they can work on their career before this. All of this creates a very small window of intense polygamy for women, but they are rotating against a pool of male that is on a much larger time scale. So what that means in the end is a lot of incel males. And to me, that is a concern that I have to take into account when I give counseling to my crowd. And if I was like these other, that like these people who are accusing me today, if I was telling uh, you guys, don't go check out uh, Asian females, uh, you're going to ruin the white race, only breed with Europeans, I would be counseling you against your interests. Because, because of the situation I just presented, we should assume that it is legitimate for about 80% of the white population to be remaining open to uh, the potential of race mixing with an Asian. Uh, why 80%? Because th those, are just the, those are just the numbers, approximate numbers, of course, when you think about what I just laid out, that you have because of the carrier push of women and because of the biological clock of women, we end up with a window of reproduction for women that if you're lucky, if you have a 25 year old, that's 10 years of potential breathing. But most, uh, most of the women don't start thinking about reproduction at 25 years old. So you end up fighting really for an open window of reproduction that is truly effectively 
two to three years lo uh, long. And you have all of the males of all of the quality level of all of the ages fighting for that moment of the woman's life. And that means a very biased ratio against males. So there's two solutions to this. That's what the, the racialists aren't understanding. First, you could fix society and you could uh, combat feminism, eliminate the legal standing of women in family court, and, and let's just go back to you're married at 18 years old and you make babies until you're 35 with the same guy. But as long as you can't do this, I'm not going to deceive my audience and tell them that it's all going to be all right. They just have to dream about the nine out of 10 blonde and they're going to get it. They're not going to get it. They're not going to get it because of the numbers I just mentioned. So uh, we have to find a solution for the guys who are seven out of 10, six out of 10, five out of 10, because those are the guys who will end up as incel. Not the one out of 10, super ugly, super fat. The five out of 10s, the six out of 10s, the seven out of 10s cannot get into that window. Oh, they can get the old cougar, of course. They can, who, who is in need of emotional support, but who's completely dried in terms of her egg production capacity. And they can get the 18 years old who just wants to get fucked in the ass just for the experience but who will no question require that a condom be put at all time and that any of our tubes be used except the one that could lead to a baby. That is the useless landscape of the current sexual dynamic. You will lose your time most of the time. Most of the women don't actually want your babies, even those that approach you, even those that fall in love with you. Sometimes they just want to use you as a ladder to escalate the dating world, to learn about themselves. They're looking for themselves and they're going to use you in the process and abuse you in the process because they're all so fucking insane in the head. So to those people who are, are telling me, JF, opening the Asian female option is a betrayal of your race, you are driving race mixing and an abolition of the white race. Uh, <laughs> the white race is abolishing itself with the current behavior of white females. Don't hate the player, hate the game. What I'm telling to my crowd is if you are in that space where it is relatively difficult for you to, to get anything of quality within the white race, certainly keep your options open. Uh, now, the, the, the video went 170,000 impressions. It had been years. I, I was excited last month because I had a couple of videos at 60K. That had been years that I hadn't had 60K. Now we have 170K. That is absolutely beautiful. Thank you, Elon Musk. That's all I want. I just want to be heard and for people to think and discuss about these things. Uh, someone was saying, I don't think you're wrong per se, but this is the single most demented, deranged, insane, and idiotic way you could have presented the argument. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you for acknowledging I'm right. <laughs> I said, thank you. It's art. <laughs> you, you can't understand, bro. You can't understand that my specialty is to be making arguments that even you who hate the way I laid it out, even you have to say, you're right, JF. <laughs> Jan says, women are taught from a very young age to take advantage of anything men want. If a man wants children, be smart and deny him that to extract maximum time and effort for it. That is so disgusting. That is why we had marriage. Marriage totally neutralizes this, like true marriage that you have to keep for the rest of your life uh, that totally destroys this because suddenly all of your destructive impulses against the man are destroying your own wealth and, and the, the well-being of your children. Uh, but yeah, we have to get rid of the, these tactics of exploitation. And, and celibacy and this kind of dating moment before full engagement 
is what needs to be eliminated because it's exactly this moment in society where the female is fully advantaged and the male gets nothing. The male only gets drained in restaurants, in bills, in contributions. That's why I, I personally advocate for straight, like first date to reproductive sex within 24 hours. That, that is radical, but that is what I do personally. Personally, it's like, all right, I'm in love with you. I want to inseminate you and have babies with you. Now, sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it shocks them. But to be honest, it works much more often than you would think. It, it works more often than a woman will fall in love with you as you approach her. It, <laughs> it works uh, an amazing amount, uh, you know, rate, uh, an amazing rate of success. Uh, someone was saying, interesting take, but in the negotiation, if the negotiation failed, do you suggest that we breed with Asians and that we out European females entirely? Uh, I said, to the extent they are amenable, breed with the European female, but then send armies of whichever males are left over to rebuild an Asian American civilization. I'm serious, we might be headed toward a dominant Asian civilization, and it would be totally reasonable as an evolutionary strategy to say the future is not in a bunch of white people who will be basically living in Muslim countries and black nations. The future is with uh, a mix of whites and Asians uh, starting small countries in Asia when instability shows up in the bigger ones. It's a totally decent strategy. The Asian race, uh, I've had that I, I didn't know. There are people who consider the East Asians to be a, an uninteresting race uh, at, the, you know, at, at the level of other races. That is not my view at all. I've always thought that the Asians are a nation that is equally respectable to white nations. I have never had problems, uh, you know, picturing myself uh, having babies with Asians. I wouldn't fear that my babies are lesser. I, I don't. I don't think it's dating down at all. If anything, it might be dating up a little bit if you compare the average white female, because everyone who thinks about the white European female, they think about the ten out of ten Cindy Crawford. Uh, you know, carrying eggs in the wheat field. Let me tell you this. There are some fucking ugly white women out there. There are, I mean, and most, I mean, just walk around. Some of them are fat. Some of them are just disgusting in the face. Some of them are z zero class. And some of them you can see just the... They live in shit. They live in shit apartments, being single mother and accumulating fat. No offense, but this is the kind of guy I'm speaking to. The kind of guy who will be stuck with these women. For this guy, the calculation is totally different than if you're a super chat guy who can pick up any 10 out of 10. Of course, the 10 out of 10... European female is one of the most beautiful, like, accumulation, one of the most beautiful way you can put atoms together. I agree. But, but I'm, I'm not thinking about this when I give counseling to my crowd. Because the reality is, I, I hurt when I go to the restaurant and I see a guy who's like a 5 out of 10. He's thin, he's healthy, he seems to have just enough money to live. And he comes with this super ugly, fat, white woman. And I'm, I'm like, how does that happen? Like a true one out of 10 woman, like disgusting, with tattoos, with zero class, zero charm. And I, I hurt when I see this because what are the chances that this is to his interest, this guy? What are the chances that this arrangement is to his advantage compared to if he was relaxing a little bit on the requirement to have a white woman, but he was 
dating a superior quality woman and superior beauty woman, maybe a six out of 10 Asian, a five out of 10 Asian, rather than a one out of 10, very, very ugly European. Uh, that is what I have in mind when I give that kind of counseling. I'm not saying abolish the white race. I'm not saying, uh, you know, all guys should date Asians. I'm just saying certainly keep it as an option because if you're in that situation where you can get a higher quality female, I don't see why you wouldn't do that. Uh, sexual selection of the individual is so much more important than selection of the group. There is no evidence at all that selection based on group uh, is even a way forward for a species, that it is even rewarding or evolutionarily advantageous. There is plenty of evidence that sexual selection of the individual with which you reproduce is highly advantageous. Now, in 2018, when I was talking a lot about the subject of race, I talked a lot about race and the importance of race, and I still believe what I stated then, that we should care about who surrounds us. We should care about which kind of countries we want for ourselves and for our descendants. And that should include considerations of race. But that doesn't mean you have to self-abolish to the entire rest of your race. I've never said this. I've always believed the contrary, and I've always argued against this. Because so many guys across the years have come to me and I've said, Jeff, I have this opportunity with an Asian, but I will forego it because I want to save the white race. You, you, you're not saving anything. You're sterilizing yourself. Jan says, did Odyssey change something or am I too much of a boomer? I can't find a way to super chat or donate on mobile. Dino Legovic says, Jan, try a browser, not the app. Oh, I don't know how it works on mobile but uh, yeah perhaps uh, if you try a browser uh, the you you can always on a phone you can always set your google chrome so that it acts like you were not on a phone uh it acts like uh you are on the desktop side blanket says jeff what's your opinion on the word hapa it's a word to describe someone who's mixed with european and asian yeah, I, I was initiated to that word because so many people have used that word in the last day uh, in this debate. Um, I don't know about that word. I had never heard of it. Uh, so I, I guess it's, I don't care as long as people know what they are talking about. Um, <clears throat> Way of the World says the ultimate Pyrrhic victory. Uh, to be clear, I haven't said the whole of the white race should only race mix. I have said the white race, to the extent that you can score well in the, in the white race and continue your reproductive line, go ahead, maintain the white race. But these guys who are discarded, I don't think they should be thrown to the trash. I think they have value. I, th I, think, I think it's insane the level of discarding that we're doing in in society by making basically seven out of tens and eight out of tens males. Some of them are end up in cell. I find this absolutely uh, disgusting. And I think a way out is precisely in those high quality genetic populations like the Asians that are in super high number, that are sometimes uh, geographically disbalanced in uh, male versus females because of past policies that they had, the one child policy, is one of those that, that led a lot of males to stay in China and a lot of females to be given up for adoption. So you have to base on availability uh, always in the dating world. Just making decisions based on local availability can, can help you score two or three ticks above your rating. Like if you're a six out of 10, or if you deserve a six out of 10 woman on the current market, go into a university city where there's an overpopulation of women, you're gonna score eight, nine, 10 out of 10. You're gonna score above your grade because of the local availability. This is important. And please understand that there are a lot of cute Chinese 
daughters that have been given up uh, by adoption and that are today becoming adults that are reproductive. And they, there was a lot of female giving because of this old China policy of one child policy. Scorpio says, Jeff, how many kids do you have? Your genes are defective. My genes are not defective. I, I never reveal uh, these information, but uh, was, what I say in general is I, ha I am way above uh, genetic replacement. I am very comfortable with the amount of children I've had. And at this point, I'm kind of taking a pre-retirement of the reproductive gain. I will not solicit further insemination. I am satisfied with what I've got. And um, although I will consider request, I will consider request for insemination. If someone writes to me and wants to be inseminated, I will consider it. But I will not solicit it because it's so much fighting, so much, so much justifying yourself and look at how good I am and look, I could take good care of you and Oh yeah, even if you're a fucking insane woman, I will still take care of you. I'm tired of this. I'm t in, in a world where the dating game would be pleasant, I'd be on, on a line for 10 more babies, okay? But in this world, I'm, I, I'm, I'm okay. And anyways, uh, 10 more babies wouldn't, wouldn't fix the world and, and they probably wouldn't inherit as much wealth, you know, if, if I start dividing what I have to give, there would probably be less parental care that I can divide across a larger uh, set of offspring. So at this point, I'm, I'm happy with, uh, with my reproductive career and I will concentrate on raising and, uh, and giving, giving inheritance to those who exist. Uh, but I will inseminate any female who opens her leg in front of me and tells me to do it. Uh, <clears throat> some people are commenting this is an... So Joel Davis was telling me, Jeff, can you stop advocating for the destruction of the white race? What the fuck are you doing, man? I don't see that I'm destroying the white race. You won't, you won't save the white race by keeping your incel male uh, population sterile and dreaming of the white female and never getting her. That, that's not going to happen. These guys are either going to keep coming into Kleenexes for the rest of their lives or they're going to get an Asian female. There's no other choice because of the mathematical situation that I've described. A female with the feminist pressure of career and with the biological pressure of not being able uh, of the biological clock of not being able to make babies after a certain age, we are reducing and reducing the window of reproducibility of the female. And on the other hand, you know, a streamer at 18 years old can be scoring very much and could be making babies, could be attractive on the dating market. But a 60 year old, even a boomer with a, with a motorcycle could also want that female. So we have two years of the female life that has to spread over 60 years of dicks, 60 years of potential dicking. Do you realize how asymmetric this market is? So I'm trying to develop a strategy to loosen and release a little bit of the pressure of the asymmetric pressure here. And one way is, hey, guys, you're not going to be successful or you're going to get a fucking horrible tattooed crack whore. Or you could go fuck an Asian. You could have, you could marry an Asian and she's going to open coconuts like the girl we saw yesterday. That is not abolishing the white race. That is using the, the goods that we have, using the ability that we have and the talent that we have and using it to its maximum. I'm trying to optimize the white race. And if we follow your plan of guilting people into not following their own reproductive interest, I'm afraid that you're going to destroy the white race, Joel. As I said, I know where your path ends. Within the next two decades, female voters will send 50% of our incel male population to go die in a useless war against Russians. 
My path, on the other hand, seeks to save all of the white race, including our incels, which are endowed with a sufficient genetic quality that can find a warm home within the Asiatic reproductive channels. Your path most likely loses all trying to save it in full. My path guarantees a part of it survives. There is still place for dating white women, but this cannot be the only way, and we must use leverage to change their behavior anyway. If we don't put the white female in, in front of a choice, in front of a A, you know, here, here's the speed at which the Muslim family is breeding. One man, one female for 30 years, bam, 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 10 babies. And they're doing it in your society. They're doing it in, in a Western society. So they're doing it with the same amount of money and potential success as you have. They're doing it with the same career environment as you have. And they're capable of putting 10 babies down. So we have to put the female, the, the white female, in front of a choice. Either you're going to be part of the genetic line that continues humanity or you're not. But we're not going to self-sacrifice if you can't follow, understand? That is what Trump describes as coming to the table, being ready to leave with nothing. That is the state I want to be in to negotiate and to, to exert leverage. Shrigma Mail sends a super chat. He says, hey Jeff, why are so many white women getting tattoos nowadays? It seems as though they do it because they don't like their bodies. Yeah, I think there's a mix of various things, but probably probably obesity and a kind of hidden, a kind of, oh, well, if I'm that wasted, if, if I haven't achieved the 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10, uh, you know, I might as well waste myself more. I think there's some of this, yes. And th there's the whole idea of lowering expectations. Like, if you do things that make you less beautiful, it's you you kind of make it worse in a way that's expectable and some people they are ashamed of imperfection but if you make it really imperfect they, they will make it even more imperfect to kind of feel better about it i think uh, this could be a big explanation i think there's also a general trend unfortunately of uh of a desire to not be white and ink turns out to be black and white females have a desire not to be white at times and they they want to be tanned they're they're seeking all these techniques that make themselves more black thank you for watching this clip this is the cac remember to like and subscribe